All right, so there's really no excuse for getting this question wrong because at the very least, even if we don't know how to do it like algebraically, we can just use the calculator. Desmos is great for finding the minimums because it's going to allow us to touch the vertex of the uh, parabola that comes up here. So I'm just gonna type it in. We have x squared, oops, let's do this, x squared uh, plus minus 48x, so minus 48x uh, plus 2304 and of course, it's off the screen because those are some big numbers, but that's okay. Just use your fingers if you have a, a, a tablet and zoom out. If you have a, um, uh, a laptop, the zooming is a little bit harder. That's why if you can bring a mouse, you're probably better off. Uh, but here we go. Once we get it, we get 24 and 1728. So we got to be careful. What are they asking for? Are they asking for the X or the Y? The SAT asks for both. It just depends on the question. So here they're asking what is the minimum, meaning we want the Y coordinate, right? So if they wanted the X, they would have said something like, for what value of X does this function uh, find its minimum, get to its minimum? So they want the Y here. So 1728 is the answer, and that's that. So Again, really no reason that you could ever get this wrong because the calculator allows us to just see it, just make sure you type it correctly. That would be the only real problem. Uh, and yeah, you gotta kind of search around for it, but you know, you could just zoom and scroll and, and there are zoom buttons here. So, um, you know, figure it out. But basically, if you don't wanna do it that way, you can use a formula. I, I don't know that it's super awesome here to, to kind of like get it more quickly. But basically, when we think about minimum, we are thinking about vertex. And we have to remember that the vertex, the, the uh, X coordinate of that vertex, what we sometimes call the, the H, is going to be equal to negative B, oops, negative B over 2A. So we're getting that from this equation because this is the standard form equation, right? So we're going to put the B in, but now here's where the error could happen, right? It's, it's negative 48 is the B. So we've got to double up on those negatives and then over two and our A is one. So that's going to be 48, positive 48 divided by two is 24. But again, I think it's even more tempting here to just put that as the answer because it feels like we just did algebra, right? It feels like we have that mission accomplished moment of like, all right, I've got a value of X or whatever you want to call it. So I feel good about that. But in order to actually solve this, we now need to take that and put it back in the equation. So we're going to need to do 24 squared minus 48 times 24 plus 2304. So I don't know, we're kind of using the calculator anyway. We could put all of that into this calculator. Um, you could put it into Desmos if you want. Usually for just simple arithmetic, I go in here. So 24 squared minus 48 times 24 plus 2304. So I'm just typing it all in one line. Maybe that's risky, but I think that's what you would do. And uh, the other thing is, you know, calculators, sometimes you can mistype, right? So I'm gonna kind of look at this screen and just make sure I typed it right. But I do get the same thing, the 1728. So what do you think? Comment in the in the video here. What do you think is more efficient? Would you rather use the uh, kind of like the axis of symmetry formula to get this by hand, or would you rather use Desmos? And maybe Desmos is slightly longer because you got to scroll around for a while, but I don't know. I'd rather take the guaranteed points than risk losing a negative somewhere in this process. So for me, someone who knows how to do both methods, I still defer to Desmos in a case like this because I would just rather have the guaranteed correct answer than risk making a careless mistake. If it means that I run out of time and can't do a hard question later, so be it. Take the guaranteed points. I think that is better for your score than rushing through to get to questions you might not get right anyway.